Now, how to diagnose this ulnar claw hand? Because you must have read about many other such conditions with this clawing of digits. One is deputrans contracture. One is complete claw hand in clump case paralysis. Then you have his hand of benediction, mallet finger, swan neck digits, botaneous deformity, trigger finger, pointing index finger, ape thumb deformity, hitchhiker's thumb deformity. There are so many digital deformities. So how to confirm whether it is Goins canal syndrome? So to check that, you just have to give him a card to hold between the thumb and the index finger. So what he'll do, he'll not be able to press it between the thumb and the index directly. The reason is, you know, the important muscle which causes adduction of the thumb, that is adductor pollicis, which is being innovated by the D branch of Alanov. So with the weakness of the adductor paralysis, what you'll find, he'll not be able to grasp the paper. So what he'll do is to prevent the paper from being slipped out, he will use his muscle called flexor pollicis brevis and flexor pollicis longus. Here you can see in the image that how the person is like trying to withhold the paper card by flexing the terminal IP joint and flexing the IP joint of the thumb is actually use of the muscle flexor pollicis longus that's a muscle of the forearm that also is being innovated by median nerve and even flexor pollicis brevis also is being innovated by median nerve so instead of adducting the thumb he flexes the thumb at the ip joint or even at the metacarpophalangeal joint at the ip joint of the thumb it's this flexor pollicis longus at the metacarpophalangeal joint it's the use of flexor pollicis brevis so both these muscles being innovated by median nerve will help him to flex the thumb and then grasp the paper. So here you're seeing is a simple test that's called Froment's test. This Froment's test can be simply done by asking the subject to sit in front of you and give a paper to grasp it with both his hands between the thumb and the index finger. And the other side, you simply have to pull it the same way towards yourself. So when you pull it yourself, you'll find that if this person is suffering from the Gwen's Canal Syndrome, what you'll find that the paper slips out from the side, the hand in which he is suffering from Gwen's Canal Syndrome. To prevent that embarrassment or to prevent the slippage of the paper, he will simply flex the thumb, right? And that's a positive sign. To prevent the slippage of paper card, there's a compensatory flexion at IP joint. And that's the bending of the thumb being done by flexor pollicis longus assisted by flexor pollicis brevis. Both these muscles are being innovated by median nerve, right? So this forming sign, if you find, then it's a positive sign of ulnar nerve injury at the wrist.